Alright, what's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day. But before I get into the video, I want to talk about one thing. And that is, I'm sorry I haven't done Coach Apathy in a, f in a while, in a good while, but I'm doing it today. Wanted to bring an interesting topic up and really explain to you guys that can help improve your gameplay and make you guys a better player. So let's get right into it. So today I'm going to be talking about delusional confidence. Now some people might say, is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing? I honestly think it's a very good thing. A lot of pros can agree with me. Now you, you only want to take it to a further extent. So basically what goes down with delusional confidence is you want to have confidence in general. Sometimes uh, a delusionally a lot of confidence is usually a, a whole much like a bunch of confidence where you start to question why does he have that much conf confidence? But that's the type of confidence you want. Now, if you're in a 1v1v4 search and destroy, and they have bomb down, are you gonna think, "Hey, it's over. I lost this"? Or are you gonna think, "I got this, man. I'll, I'm gonna kill them all and defuse the bomb," and you go for it? So that's kind of an ideal thing, and that's how it should be because with that type of confidence, you can almost accomplish anything. If you go into a 1v4 or 1v1 or whatever it is without no confidence, the chances of you winning that is very small. So I want you guys to try something. I want you guys to get in a game or play a game or scrim or whatever it is. And as you're playing this game, I want you guys to have this a lot of confidence with, with whatever you do. Uh, whether it's pushing a bomb, whether it's going for a kill, whether it's uh, in a gunfight, anything. I just want you guys to have a whole bunch of confidence. Even if it's too much, you have that delusional confidence, but just have it there. And just play. And you definitely should see improvement with your gameplay and your game. Now, it's, it's a good thing to have always delusional confidence, but you don't always want to have too much of it in certain situations. For example, you don't want to go into a room and search and destroy 5-5 five, five, and be like, I mean, and be like, hey, I'm going in there and I'm getting a three-piece. I don't care if I get first blood in. Now, you want to back up there. You don't want to get first blood in a 5-5 five, five S&D unless 100% you know you can get that kill because then that can cost you the map. So you got to be careful there. But delusional confidence is something that's really good to have. I have it. Uh, I know in a lot of gunfights, people, you know, I've heard people, even back in the day, I've heard people say, oh my god, why did he challenge that? Or, you know, stuff like that. And it's because I feel like if I'm going to start something, I might as well finish it. I, if I have the confidence and in going into a gunfight and I'm challenging the guy, and he maybe starts running away because we're both one shot, but I'm going to chase him down because I have the confidence that I'll kill him. If I die, I die. But the chances of him uh, running away mid-gunfight and then me shooting in the back, the chances are a lot higher of me winning that gunfight, so then I'll just go for it. One thing I noticed, and it's it's very true, and it actually works, is the delusional confidence can take you a long way. I remember playing online, especially when I play online, you know, getting warriored, getting killed by a lot of people, and the thought of it, it's, it's in my head. It's like, man, I can't do anything. I can't kill these kids. Like, what do I do? And then I go into the next game, and my teammates are like, dude, just play like you're in land. Just play like you guys have the same connection. Just go hard. Don't care about... Don't think about anything else. Just think you're the best. And then I'll go to the next map on the same connection, and I'll play almost two times better. And that's that's what delusional confidence does for people. Like, it's so amazing. It's, it's just that confidence in general can take you a long way. And when you have that delusional confidence in-game, it's, it's like adding, you know, it's just like adding something to your game. It's like, it's a mentality thing, but, you know, in the end... Just playing in a game, most like half half the percent is mentality. Like when you when you're overthinking things, when you're trying to outsmart your opponent, uh, keeping composure, having confidence, all that stuff helps you improve your gameplay. So confidence, man, use it, use it. So next time you guys are in a one v four, I want you guys to have the most delusional confidence ever. Whether it's a one v four, one v one, one v two, one v three, just know you can win it. No, no, this guy can beat you. I don't care if he's a pro player. I don't care if you're playing uh, Crim6, because he sucks. I don't care if you're playing uh, Too Quick, because he sucks. I don't care if you're playing Sensor, because he sucks. I don't care if you're playing freaking, 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 freaking Attach, because he sucks. But, you know, just I don't care if you're in a 1v1 with either of them. You got to have that confidence that you can win it. If you're nervous, if you're breaking down composure, you're like, oh, is he left? Is he, is he right? I think I hear him. Like, no, man, just fucking. I'm running at him. I see him. Like, you gotta have that confidence. That confidence is gonna win you the map, the game, the the freaking gunfight, everything. Especially this this message also for a lot of amateur players because a lot of you guys don't have that delusional confidence. You guys get nervous and all that stuff. And I I used to be that. I I was there. I used to be on that boat 
But right now, this advice I'm giving you right now is what's going to change you to a winner. It's going to make you better. So keep it in considerate, consideration. You know, think about it. Delusion of confidence take you a long way. But like I said, 5-5 five, five, S and D, you know there's four in one room. Don't go inside that room thinking you're going to kill them all. That's a, a, a little bit too far. Because the only thing you're going to do is kill your team and end up losing. But in your 1v4, you get that confidence, boy. You got that. You got that. Jesus, Lord Jesus, you got that. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry I haven't been doing Coach Apathy lately. I wanted to give you some advice in this episode. And I might do another episode of some gameplay commentating over it. Uh, let's see if I can get some good gameplay. And yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, one more time. Appreciate you guys for subbing to my second channel to people did yesterday. I uh, appreciate the support. Uh, had a good time. Apathy, out. Oh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and comment. I love when you're in the comment section.